Good morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. In this Mass, we pray for those to be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. In thanksgiving of Kalahi Bakery and Deli, for the soul of Romulo Eusebio de Lami, let us all stand for our gathering hymn. Hail the day not ceasing bright, Hallelujah. To His throne beyond the skies, Hallelujah. Christ the dead for sinners given, Hallelujah. And there's now the highest heaven. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Coming together as God's family as we celebrate this holy Eucharist and offer this for all our intentions. We pause in silence and recall our sins, failures, and mistakes and beg the Lord for pardon and peace. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask blessed Mary, of the Virgin, and all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray.
Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd of Philippians joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates stripped them and ordered them to be flogged. After receiving many lashes, they were thrown into the prison, and the jailer was given instructions to guard them well. Upon receipt of these instructions, he put them into maximum security, going so far as to chain their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as their fellow prisoners listened, a severe earthquake suddenly shook the place, rocking the prison to its foundations. Immediately, all the doors flew open, and everyone's chains were pulled loose. The jailer woke up to see the prison gates wide open. Thinking that the prisoners were, had escaped, he drew his sword to kill himself. But Paul shouted to him, Do not harm yourself. We are all still here. The jailer called for a light, then rushed in and fell trembling at the feet of Paul and Silas. After a brief interval, he led them out and said, Men, what must I do to be saved? Their answer was, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, and all your household. They proceeded to announce the word of God to him and to everyone in his house. At that late hour of the night, he took them in and bathed their wounds. Then he and his whole household were baptized. He led them up into his house spread a table before them, and joyfully celebrated with his whole family his newfound faith in God. The Word of the Lord. Amen. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Your right hand has saved me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I will send you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will lead you to the whole truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory 
glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now that I go back to him who sent me, not one of you ask me, Where are you going? Because I have had all this to say to you, you are overcome with grief. Yet I tell you the sober truth. It must be better for you that I go. If I fail to go, the paraclete will never come to you. Whereas if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin, about justice, about condemnation, about sin, in that they refuse to believe in me, about justice, for the fact that I go to the Father and you see me no more, about condemnation, for the prince of this world has been condemned. My dear friends, the good news of our salvation. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be seated. The, the usual association of goodbye is sadness, a sense of loss, and a sense of um, separation. We say goodbye. First, from the womb of our mother, when we were born, we said goodbye. We say goodbye to teachers, to classmates at graduation. For the single, you say goodbye to singlehood when you get married. And in the end, we say goodbye to the world and the Lord calls our soul. These things are not necessarily bad. But these things happen. The Lord was bidding his disciples goodbye. A friend of mine who died of COVID, they asked me, Wednesday, they asked me to pray for him because he was diagnosed two days ago. The following day, Thursday, they called me again to tell me he died. That was so fast. And when he died, they cremated him. They, he went home cremated. He left home. When he came back, he's already cremated. It's sad. And that is why if people still do not believe this virus as real and really dangerous, we just need to hear stories like this and open our minds and hearts about what, what it really is. And that is why this friend of mine said, Father, be careful. Don't go out or else we do not have masks. I thought they are concerned. They are just concerned with the mass. But sadly, this is what we need to do. In our lives, this is the presence of goodbye, of saying our, having our separation, our feeling of loss. Still the Lord wants us to take care of those whom he has still given us here to protect and love and care for them. The Lord promised something. He said, I must go so that the Holy Spirit must be sent to you. If I do not go, the Holy Spirit will not come. I guess that's how the Lord designed it beautifully. For he promised us he will never leave us orphans. I will never leave you alone. The Lord comforts us by sending us the paraclete, the comforter, the advocate, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that motivates us. The Holy Spirit that gives us the spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit that makes us alive once again. 
breathing is most important for those who are sick with COVID-19. Their lungs are affected. They could hardly breathe on their own. That's why there's a ventilator that is needed to be attached to that person. And it's pinned into my mind what I saw in an ICU about that person gasping for breath, wanting to live. An opportunity that the Lord gives to you and me, but not for some who are sick. If we can still breathe well, if we wake up in the morning and we see the sunshine, if you wake up in the morning and you see your wife all the time, be grateful. Or your husband, or your children, even your mother-in-law, be grateful. Because they are there for you. This experience maybe was given in our lifetime. Who would imagine during our lifetime we will have this? For more than 10 weeks now, we have been doing this. We have been scared. We have been uncertain with what would happen. But still, the Lord sustains us. The Lord never left us. Maybe the farewell, the goodbye of the Lord was just reminding them, be courageous. Find strength into one another. For I am sending you help, an advocate. May the Holy Spirit of God continue to lead us, guide us. Let go of fear. Trust in the Lord. Even when Moses was inside um, the ark and then it flooded, the Lord asked him to stay and wait. And when it was already sure to go out, the Lord sent, uh, Moses sent four four birds first one um, it returned after one week he sent another one he returned the third one he sent and then it came back with a branch olive branch and then the fourth one it never returned meaning to say there's only nine they have to try, keep on trying to be, able to be able to go to safety. It's the same thing with us. We need to try our best to be able to be protected, to be able to be safe, to be able to not to, to inflict our neighbors, our loved ones with the illness. May we see clearly our role in this situation that we have and that the Holy Spirit to work within us to guide and bless the world. On the cross, Jesus surrendered his life to the Father for all men and women. Let us pray in the confidence of this surrender. For the hope and renewal in our church throughout the whole world, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, we our prayers. For wisdom and courage for our leaders as they struggle to find the best path during this time, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are sick, and for all who are suffering from COVID-19, and for all who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For students ending their school year at home, for teachers working remotely, 
and for parents and families supporting and working with their school age children, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those whose lives are at risk because of their service to others in these days of the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayers. In silence, let us pray together with our patron Saint Martha for all our petitions. We pray for all those to be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in thanksgiving of Kalahi Bakery and Delhi for the soul of Romolo Eusebio Delami. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. We include in prayer for the repose of the soul of Fred Soriano and for the healing recovery of Messi Soriano. We continue to pray for all those who are sick, for all those hospitalized, for all those still sick with other illnesses besides COVID, for the family who have lost a loved one. We pray for the repose of the soul of William by Anne and for Alex Marquez. O oh God, we know you love us deeply. Help us to love you in return by observing your commandments. Kindly hear this and all of these are prayers which we make in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Shepherd of souls, refresh and bless. Your chosen pilgrim flock with mana in the wilderness, with water from the rocks. We would not leave our bread alone, but by your word. Of grace, in strength of which we travel on to our abiding place. Pray, Reverend, that these are sacrifices be acceptable to God the Almighty for the praise and the glory of his name, for the good and the good of his church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected by this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, so do and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but it is time above all to laud you. Yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are played. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, David, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Therese, Saint John Paul II, Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Saint Martha, Padre Osera, and all the saints who will please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let us now offer and extend to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Brothers and sisters, my dear friends, behold Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be glad. Our act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, 
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata, against the spread of novel coronavirus. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray for you, the people, past the five years for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts and they may minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted that they start to have soon. Protect them who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Grant us the grace in this God give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander to the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Martha, pray for us. Again, we ask the Blessed Mother to bless, protect, and guide. As always, as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you. Good morning to all. Have a fruitful Tuesday. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Alleluia, Jesus, 